Hello guys, Voxel Pro here coming at you with another unfocused rant. This one is brought to you by my friend Threes, who uh who inspired me to get on this topic um while we were out having dinner with um the rest of the f friends and family. Um so um apparently there's this art form and it's been out for years, um, but but I just never truly understood the nature of it. I guess it's called Stomp. I should look this up. Um, but what it is essentially is people banging on like some pots and pans and any like random household object, but mainly it, they bang on those old school uh Tr uh, like outside trash cans you know those metal ones those iron ones or whatever they're made out of and I don't understand what the appeal of it is yeah it's art but how many of them actually go who got it into these people heads that they should grow up doing this for a living you know I I'm pretty sure nobody said to their five-year-old ever you know, hey, son and or daughter, you're going to, you can make a great living banging out of those pots and pans just like that. You don't never need no drum kit, you know, you're, you're never going to need it because you already have pots and pans. You don't have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on new drumsticks or equipment you're just gonna get you fifty dollars worth of pots and pans and you can bang on them till the cows come home now you can also just stomp your feet and put your foot in some sand and make some sounds that way and people will think that it's musical and, and all the while the audience is saying that this might be true and they might actually be entertained by it but is this a, like a serious career path I mean I get it the resources to do such a job is virtually um, boundless I mean like nobody is gonna they even poor people can do this why do you think haven't you ever seen like one of those like homeless people and I'm sorry to you know if I'm ragging on them, but seeing one of those, you know, people that used to have like what looked to be like one of those old school plastic uh, cylindrical cans, you know, that, you know, some people use to hold their washing powder stuff. I think they still sell that stuff in the like the large, like two and a half foot uh, plastic cylindrical cans that was like about a foot in diameter. And they go and they bang on the things in like Times Square or something like that. And they get like a few dollars or dimes or pennies or how much ever it's worth, you know, for them banging on their pots and pans. And that's how they get their money. What I'm saying is, is that those people who are doing that for a living as an art form who like people go to visit and pay like 50 bucks for, you know, to see like 30 minutes worth of banging on pots and pans and plastic cans, you know, or, you know, didn't make a great life decision. And they're eventually going to go broke. I'm sorry to say that. They're eventually, like, if I wanted to do something more meaningless than banging on some pots and pans, I, I don't know what that would be. I don't know. I don't know. I probably just, I probably just throw dirt at the side of people's houses and take a picture of it and say it's art. You know, it's like uh saying like you know taking pictures of like shadows like well you know I don't know maybe some some of them might sell for a hundred thousand maybe a million bucks I don't know there's some crazy people why you would pay money to see like a shadow or something like that I get it you know you should have photography or something like that when you're shooting a band or some type of musical group excuse me or something in there like uh, something in a publication or a magazine newspaper or whatever but just to sell it on like eBay because you know somehow the side of your house or the front of your garage l w combined with the shadow looks like a face of Jesus I'm just saying 
this is not a good lifestyle decision right now. It's not a good career path. It's not a good career choice. I don't understand it. Anyway, uh, I decided to cut this short, and I'm going to try to make them all uh, 10 minutes or less from now on because I fail to capture you guys' attention, I'm sure. Thank you guys so much for watching this unfocused and or slash listening to it, and I will see you guys in the next one.